Okay, I got the knee, the knee battery balancer. Came pretty quickly because I guess it was already in the United States. So I got it within a week. And um, I'm connecting it up to the jack upper battery here. This is supposed to be able to balance uh, four amps on the cells instead of like, uh, you know, what, uh, 70 milliamps or less that this. BMS will do in here. Anyway, um, and also you can, you can. This thing has Bluetooth in it, or yeah, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So you got an app to control it. Anyway, um, of course I saw this on Off Grid Garage, and he told he told all the details, and and I'm kind of following his lead. You can see here on the side. The two connectors, which I'm wiring up. Um, I can't read them through the camera. Okay, it goes this way. There's a big, longer connector on the right. I can't get that to focus on that lettering. But anyway, the, this side, uh, this side here is uh, B minus. That'd be the black one. Goes to the negative. And then it counts up the batteries, one, two, three, four, or the cells, one, two, three, four, five. I have 16 cells here. So it has extras that I won't use because it goes up to 22, I think, or 24. And um, this is the positive here. So it comes with the wiring. This is the one I started with. And uh, hopefully I got them in order. I'm going to double check them. Anyway, I took... Uh, some uh, ring terminals like these and they didn't fit I had to drill them out because these are M8 so it's about five uh, what was it five thirty second or five sixteenths I can't remember now but I had to drill them out to the size for M8 and if you ever have to drill these out use a stepper bit don't try using a regular drill bit because it'll grab it and twist it up stepper bit works much better anyway um so i started out here on my negative negative and then i went to uh the first one went here second one third one and on so i just made them stay in order of this um so this would be one the black and then one two three four i'm going down and then you run out and you get to the second connector and you start out on this end here this end here the blue one and you go until you run out you get to the last cell and then there's a whole bunch of extras here these are like all extra wires and the the positive and um, the last balance lead that you used here get connected together see right here so that's they those two get connected together um, anyway it's all hooked up I got to uh, I'm going to double check it and maybe make the wires nicer because it's just a big mess now I'm gonna wrap them together and put them through the existing chase here I'm not sure what I want to do ultimately I thought well maybe I could have I did order an extra um, harness wire harness set in case I just want to run these outside outside the battery case and then be able to use one of these for multiple batteries to balance but we'll see I think there was like I can't remember like sixty seventy dollars for this um, so yeah it's supposed to work really well and Pretty soon here I'm going to give it a try as soon as I double check everything and I'll load the Android app into my phone and then plug this thing in hopefully it won't blow up because I wired it right and then I'll see what it does. I've got the balancer going, it's installed and here's the screen. And here's the app.
And it shows all oh, there. This is the knee app showing the high cell in red and then it takes it to the blue cell there's the voltage difference 173 on here and pretty much the same on this one and Here's the difference. This is doing four amps instead of a few milli, instead of you know 50 or 70 milliamps. So I have this set for 55.2, and this is coming down. I have it set to charge at 55.2, 15 amps, and it'll stop at um, 100 milliamps. And this is showing 190. 190 voltage difference. Now I'll shut the I'll shut the charger off. And this balancing all went off on this because it's not in overvolt protection. But this balancer keeps going. Here's what I have this set for. I have it set for 16 cells. 5 millivolt difference, um, four, 4 amps of um, balancing, and it turns on at 3.45 and it'll turn off at 3.440 per cell. So that's why it's still running. I'm still learning how to run, how to work this thing. So on here, 3.531, that's the um, cell 14, which is always high. And it's coming down because on this app, it should show it. Yeah, see it's showing it here. It's taking out the red and putting in the low one, which is cell 6. And on here, uh, cell 63360, oh, yeah, that's the low one. It's taking out of this and putting it into this one. And the voltage difference is, should be going down, which it is. So this um, balancer works a lot better. I'll just play around with it and try to figure out and make sure I get all the settings tweaked and and um, see how it goes.